back. Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy DJ TLM. It's Monday morning and it feels great to be back on DJ TLM TV. I have a busy schedule today and the whole week, so join me, stick with me. I'm going to give you an update on the whole studio situation as well and talk about my websites being hacked. A lot of stuff happened and a lot of stuff is coming soon. So let's just start this day right now. So guys, I'm back at the house right now. I decided to change my schedule and I'm gonna do my workout tonight after the kids are asleep because right now it was just too important for me to stay at home and to finish the tasks that I have here right now. It's always better to finish the tasks one by one instead of going all over the place. So rearrange to make things fit better and spend your time more efficiently. That's always a good thing. But I did wanna take this time out to give you guys a quick update. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know I've had to deal with a lot of issues, technical issues, and I'll get into those issues in a minute, and the fact that my website and both URLs were hacked. My website, djtlmtv.com, was hacked. And a quick tip for everyone with their own site out there, make sure everything is always up to date. So I'm using WordPress. Make sure your WordPress install is always the latest install. And more importantly, if you're using plugins on your website, make sure those plugins are up to date because I know for a fact that I neglect the back end of that website and my plugins were definitely out of date. And once your plugins are like one or two versions behind, that's the hacker's entrance into your website. And that's how I got hacked for sure. So DJ TLM TV was hacked. If you try to go to my site, you would get this big red pop-up. It would say warning. This site has been labeled as dangerous. It had malware. And because DJ TLM.com, my other URL was redirecting to DJ TLM TV.com, it was also labeled as dangerous. Now, what I did is I deleted my sites, databases, switched to a new host, made two completely new sites. Simple sites, I'm gonna update those, add some more, but they're online right now, they were reviewed, they're clean. So djtlm.com, djtlmtv.com, both online and working again, you can reach those sites, but more importantly, my email accounts are now working again. Because when those URLs were labeled as dangerous, it also meant that all email accounts linked to those URLs were being blocked. So you guys could send me email, but it could not send replies through those email accounts. So the sites are back on and the email accounts are working again so I can finally reply. Not to talk about the technical issues because these are important to talk about. First of all, my office computer is dead, but more importantly, my studio computer, the heart of DJ TLM TV, the one that I use for my music production and my video editing, it is just incredibly slow. It went from being an Olympic sprinter to being a senior citizen with a cane, it is that slow. So when I'm editing videos, it takes me six to eight times as long because every time I have to process something, it just takes longer than it used to. And when it comes to rendering the video, to export it, to put it on YouTube, it takes me like two, three hours for a simple video. Half of the times the render just goes wrong somehow and I have to do it again. Uh, it got so frustrating that I consciously made the decision to stop making videos because it was just taking up too much of my time and you wanna spend that time as efficiently as possible because time is one of the most valuable things you have. I try to work on my DJ career when I can because I feel my DJ career is definitely not where it should be. The only way to fix that is to work on it and to work on it, I need to spend time on it and DJ TLM TV was taking up so much time and it wasn't productive time, it was just time being wasted because everything was taking so long. But uh, the issues are still there um, but more importantly to me is I could not sit by any longer and not make videos. So whatever it takes to solve the issue, I'm working on ways to solve that, but I cannot stop making videos. It felt like this is my baby. DJ TLM TV is like my baby. It's my third child right here. And it, just to sit by and not see the channel grow just felt awful. So. I'm gonna rearrange all the time that I have, spend extra time and sleep less if I have to, to sit there and edit these videos, but I'm gonna make it work somehow. Now, I'm a Leo, and for me, it's hard to ask for help. I hardly ever do. People who know me know that I never ask for help, even when it's probably better to ask for help. 
So in this case, I decided to make that GoFundMe campaign and the PayPal Me account because I thought with 80,000 subscribers, it should be attainable to reach the goal, to get, get a couple thousand bucks, upgrade that studio equipment, get a new computer, extra lenses, new lights, a secondary camera to make more and better material for DJ TLM TV. And I'm sad to say that it's probably a miscalculation on my part, but those goals were not reached at all. So I want to take this time to thank the people who donated because you guys are amazing. I wanted to curse, I'm not going to do that. You guys are absolutely amazing. And I love the fact that you were able to take some money out of your own budget to send it to me so to help me out to make DJ TLM TV work again. But I had to totally change that goal from upgrading all the equipment to just getting a new cheap Windows computer with the right specifications to edit my videos to continue on. So hopefully I'll be able to reach that goal, but if not, I'll find a way to make it work in the next couple of months. And until that time, I'm gonna be frustrated while I'm editing, but I'm gonna do it because I wanna see this channel grow. And don't let anything get in your way either. There's no excuse. If you want something, you're gonna have to work for it and you can't let anything hold you back and I'm not gonna let this hold me back either. Uh, with some of the first donations, I did get the secondary cam. I'm recording on that right now. That's the GoPro session, just that small GoPro. Um, very cheap camera with a lot of possibilities and I'm gonna take this with me everywhere I go. So I'm gonna shoot a lot more vlog material and I'm adding that to my normal videos or I'm just gonna make more vlog videos, but it's gonna be with me everywhere I go, including gigs, meetings, whatever. This is gonna be my closest buddy right now. I'm using the microphone from that camera, so I'm not sure how the audio is gonna be. We're gonna test with this video, but otherwise I'm gonna be using my little lav mic just to make sure we get better audio. Um, but I'm pretty excited to start working with this little bad boy right here and I'm going to use my normal DSLR when I'm shooting the Share the Knowledge episodes and stuff like that. So guys, that's the update. Uh, that's a longer update than I wanted it to be, but that happens when I start talking. At least now you know where it's at. I'm going to continue that GoFundMe campaign for a little bit longer. Same with the PayPal Me. I'm going to link those both in the description down below. But like I said, no matter what, I'm going to find a way to make this work because I really want to succeed with DJTL MTV and I want to give you guys that content that you've been looking for. All right, now, back to work. And I'm on the move again. Right now, just heading towards an Uber. Gotta go pick up my kid. But let's take this time out to answer a question. And this is a question about recording video and audio. The question is from Brazil. And the question is, I have a camera, I intend to record videos while I'm DJing. How do I capture the audio quality while the camera is capturing? Well, the best thing in that case to do is definitely record your audio separately. So you need to take an extra output from the mixer or from the PA system from the club and hook that up to an external recorder uh, or a laptop. Or if you're using DJ software, maybe you can record it inside your computer inside the DJ software. But in a lot of cases, it is good to record the audio separately. So Right now, I'm recording through the GoPro, but I'm actually recording my audio, my voice, through my phone as well, just in case, because I don't know how the audio from the camera is gonna end up. But if I'm in a club situation and I'm not using Serato to record, I will take an external recorder. I have a small external recorder. It can record in 24-bit wave format, so that's pretty good audio. And I'll just take most of the Pioneer mixes in the clubs, have a master out, but they also have a secondary output master out is going to the PA system and that secondary out is an RCA output. I'll just connect that one to my own recorder so I can record the audio that way. That way I'll have separate audio and I can connect that to uh, the video I shot because if you're gonna use the audio from your video recorder in a club, you're gonna get just uh, audio that's gonna be way too loud. It's definitely not gonna be good quality because the sound is gonna be banging, it's gonna be loud out there. So you wanna have that normal output from the mixer. Make sure you keep all those levels in the green and don't go in the red, otherwise it's gonna clip on your audio recording as well. But that should definitely help you out. So I hope you understand what I mean by that and good luck with it. So I'm at the school picking up my oldest right now and he's taking part in a special graffiti workshop. And today they got to go outside to make a little art. Come check that out right now.
Now that's dope. Special shout out to Mickey, old school graph artist from Amsterdam. She's teaching these kids about graph, about letters, and today they got to do their first bit of uh, actual spraying. Before it was all on paper, and now they got to go outside and use some cans, so that's cool, man. So guys, I had another idea, a way to get more content out there without having the stress of all the editing, and that is to do more live footage. So Facebook Live, Google Hangouts, or uh, some live streaming on YouTube. So let me know which one you prefer, and if you're down for that. So guys, that concludes this day and this video. I'm glad to be back on DJ TLM TV. I just finished my workout. I'm gonna do some cardio on the bike, then I'm gonna eat, and then I really need to get some sleep. So, see you guys tomorrow.